there trying to coax pigs out of the car. Because getting them in the car was enough. We're so close. So lesson number one with pigs, food, obviously. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get him the last little bit out. Here comes number two, hopefully, slowly. Here we go, bub. There's the good food. There's the good stuff. Oh. We're almost, I know, this is Johnny. As soon as he gets towards the bottom, I'll start to push a little bit. But I don't want to freak him out too much. More graham crackers. There we go. Yahoo! You got it, bud. <laughs> Nobody said this was graceful, but we did it! We're out! Okay. Okay. Here's the pig pen. Not really a pen, it's their stall to sleep in and eat in. repurposing lambing fencing that Mitch built that was so beautiful and then Kim decided she didn't want to lamb again so repurpose the pigs are outside okay so morning number one with the babies hi boys Johnny is the dark one oops sorry Frankie is the light one, and I'm going to give them their breakfast, although they have been happily eating away. Hi, boys. This guy comes up, literally. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. You guys want some food? They're like, it's food time. Okay, our dogs are unsure what to do about these two, but... They get some kibble in the morning. I don't think they need that much kibble. That's what the uh, um, last owner was giving, but... <laughs> well, you could watch that all day. So, when I got up, I came down earlier and just checked in to make sure Mitch, of course, he has just nailed it on the fencing. I'll show you guys in a minute. This is like his third round of fencing. Not here, but he had to put up all the fencing at our last place, and then this place had no fencing at all on the entire property, so he did that, and it was very quick because we just needed to move and get the animals moved. So, this could be like an all-day event of them eating. So funny. So, I'll show you real quick while they're eating away. That we have the very important we learned to have the fencing on the inside of this post because I'll show you where my hand is it's on the inside of it because that way it's much harder for them to push out if they're trying to push underneath the fencing which lots of animals do and he also added this extra you can see there's kind of a extra and that's because pigs will use their nose to try to go under and push through so that's just kind of an extra tension he did put some extra up here, which he's been, he wanted to do. And that's more just to maybe delay some predators. Obviously the pigs are not going to have a great chance of a, I'm very shocked by how slow they eat. So they're fat and sassy and they had a good first night and they didn't even potty in their stall, which in theory, pigs don't potty where they sleep, but it's not always the case, so I was very excited to see. I didn't have to clean anything up inside. All right, guys. Okay, guys, this is morning three. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? People have been asking if they like to get scratched. Sorry, I'm trying to. And yes, yes, they do. They love it. I know, that's scary there, huh? Good 
We love the scritches. They will stop everything. Let's not eat that though, huh? For the scritches. So, in case you are wondering, they love their ears, their bellies. And he's off. He's like, are you bringing me food? That was like a pig yawn. I gotta get back to work, everybody. Let's not eat that. <laughs> what? All right. Onward. They just had all the neighbors come visit. It was very exciting. We'll let them carry on with their day. Okay guys, so I don't know what morning this is. It's Thursday morning. We are inside in their stall and they're having breakfast. Just as soon as they hear my voice, they start snorting and making crazy sounds like, it's breakfast time. It still takes them forever to eat. We're giving them a little less kibble than they were getting at their last home because they have so much pasture here right now that but we won't record all of this, but, and then at the end, they'll push each other around and see if either one has some extra food, but we'll try to catch them on the other side. We got to go finish up everybody else's barn chores. Where's my boys? Where's Frankie and Johnny? I know where they are with at least two dogs staring at them. There's my boys. There's my boys. Look at that run. Hi, baby. Oh, hi, baby. What are you doing? What are you doing? Huh? He's like, I come for scratches. Well, first we'll see, like that big dirty pig nose. Here comes Frankie. Like while we're here. While we're here. Is it time? Is it time? Sorry, my camera is not paying attention, is it? Hi, babies. Look at that beauty face. Look at that beauty face. All right, we got our good scratches in. So, we'll just watch them for a minute or two. And then I'm going to go in and I'm kind of taking the day off. So, that'll be fun. This is the pig's life. <laughs> Until a dog chases something and one of them will scurrying. Where'd he go? Don't worry, he's all right. He apparently, Frankie, is a little less. They love this little spot over here by the gate. And the dogs come and meet them and go crazy. All right, guys. Here's the boys in their stall. I wasn't quick enough to get them, but you can see they're, they haven't even barely touched their hay. And they have a very nice little watering system there and lots and lots of hay, or straw, I should say, to dig in and sleep in. So this, they come in here at night and dig into their straw and fall asleep. And they're eating breakfast right now and they're being very polite. Usually one of them will finish and start trying to eat the other ones, but we'll see how they do this morning. So apparently, we have a chicken that just laid an egg. Johnny wins. He gets to have, he is the bigger one. I don't think there's much left in the bowl, but he just pushed Frankie <laughs> right out of the way. And Frankie was like, you jerk. Bunny pigs. That's what a chicken sounds like after she's laid an egg. 
She's letting us know. Good stuff, huh?